Oh, hi you. Welcome back to Plant Boy. You look a lot better than a lot of these plants today. Happy 2021. The reason why these plants look god-awful for the most part is because these are some of my most pest-prone houseplants. I'm interested to hear if you guys have any uh, on your list of pest-prone houseplants that we share together. I'm a little ashamed of how <laughs> this Tiffenbachia looks specifically, but I have five on my list here. Let's jump into it. Remember, I have those affiliate links down below if you want to purchase any kind of plant accessories. Number one on my list is going to be the Diffenbachia species as a whole. It doesn't seem to matter what type of cultivar of Diffenbachia I have. This is a Camilla. I also have a Tropic Snow, and I also have a Sterling Diffenbachia, all three of which have some kind of pest on them. This one has had aphids on it and thrips as well. I'm just kind of letting it die. I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm probably gonna hot compost it. <laughs> and recycle the pot because it is not happy. Never had good luck with this plant. Diffenbachias are not for me. Some people have their luck. And again, this is just my experience. We may have very different experiences. You may have really great luck and not get any pests on some of these plants, but that is certainly not my experience. Number two is going to be the Lucky Bamboo. This is a type of Dracaena, and I have two different types of Dracaenas in my home. I have a lemon lime and a Durano Dracaena, and those have done fine. I've never gotten any pests on those, but for some reason, this specific one is not doing so hot. It definitely needs a drink of water and needs some TLC, and it is very infested with spider mites. I also got spider mites on the different Bacchia that I have, and they are a pain in the butt to get rid of. A lot of pests are. I just noted this, noticed that this has quite a bit of spider mites on it, so I'm going to drench it in neem oil and or pesticide and hope that it does well. This plant did relatively well for me for quite some time. It's about two years old now, but it's not looking so hot right now. So we're going to do some troubleshooting on this plant. Hopefully in a later video, we can go over how to manage the pests and revive this plant. Number three, I don't have in front of me, but that is really any kind of Calathea. I've only had uh, one Calathea in my time and it was a Calathea rosapicta. And somewhere along the line, it got thrip larva on it. I believe that's what the pest was. They were these little tiny, almost mite looking things, but there were no webbing and they were crawling a lot around a lot faster than any mites. Uh, I've never seen a pest like it before, but I think that it was some kind of thrip larva. I just could not for the life of me get rid of these stinking little things. I used pesticide, I used neem oil, I used all of these different things and I could not get rid of these pests. So I ended up letting the Calathea die back because I wasn't about to let it, uh, if they were a kind of larva, mature and hatch if they, I don't know what their life cycle looks like, but spread to my other plants. So I quarantined it, let it die back, and I no longer have that Calathea, sadly. So number four on my list is going to be the Chinese money plant or Pilea peperomoides. And this was a plant that was a controversial addition to my plants that I regret buying video. And I enjoy this plant, but it's not really doing a whole lot for me. This specific Pilea peperomoides had a huge outbreak of aphids on it. I had it outside during the spring months last year, and it was the only plant that I had outside that got a lot of aphids on it. The reason for that is because I believe the growing style of this plant had a lot of tender green foliage that was very new and aphids really prefer that. So if you ever get an aphid outbreak, uh, specifically in like a garden or even on your house plants, it's probably due to a, an abundance of tender green foliage that is very new. So I ended up pruning back the stalk of this plant that was infested with aphids and I have since eradicated them. So that's good. <laughs> this plant, not doing so hot though. I have a difficult time with the root system on this plant being so aggressive that it binds all of that soil together and I find it very difficult to water this plant because it really seems like it gets compacted very easily. Just my experience. And the last plant that I will mention as one of my more pest prone plants is the String of Pearls. 
And this plant is doing relatively okay. It needs a little bit of TLC and probably some more light. It's starting to look a little atoliated. But this was really one of the only plants that I've ever had to get mealy bugs on it. And I just found another one on here. So I've been battling mealybugs on this plant for over six months now. I've drenched it in pesticides and neem oils. I soaked it in soapy water to hopefully drown them. I have tried so many different things to get rid of mealybugs on this plant, and it is just so persistent and so stubborn. So I would definitely include this plant as one of the more pest prone plants that I have. And prevention is definitely key with pest management. Once you get these pests, they are a pain in the ass to get rid of. And pests are a really big problem with house plants, as you may or may not know, because they suck the sap out of the plant, much like many of my former partners. <laughs> they just suck the life right out of you. So if you see any pests on your plant, try to manage it as best you can. But from my experience, at least, a lot of these plants seem to be more pest prone than other plants. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's luck of the draw. Maybe it's me mistreating the plant, the plant being stressed and susceptible to pests. But hopefully we share something on our list, not for um, either of our sakes, but at least we can bond over something common uh, with pest prone, plant, pest prone plants. Let me know if we share any common plants and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.